recording on? Fabulous. Okay, let's take it from the top. So in 2012, a team at the Democratic World Federalist in San Francisco created the image you're now looking at to help describe the main paths that have been proposed to create a world federation. Since then, a few problems with that image, um, I'm sorry, since then we've discovered a few problems with that image, which we'll discuss later. Nevertheless, it does provide a convenient way to summarize these ideas. So I'll use it to introduce the theme of this conference and what our guest speakers will be presenting. The first path, which you see on the left, is transform the United Nations. As imperfect as the UN may be, many people agree that since it's what we have, we need to focus our efforts there. We have two speakers who will be doing just that with two very different strategies. Andreas Bummel will be presenting an incremental approach of creating a parliamentary assembly within the UN General Assembly, which over several steps will transform the UN into a world parliament. On the other hand, Shariar Shari argues that the UN Charter already has a mechanism built into it, which is Article 109, that allows the nations of the world to revise the charter right now, if it would like to, without any interim steps. And he's been working on the legal foundation to make that happen, which he calls the San Francisco Promise. In contrast to both of those approaches, many feel that the UN has become so dysfunctional, so hopelessly broken and mired in bureaucracy, that we must work outside of the UN system. Historically, most of those people, most of the people holding that perspective have come up with three kinds of proposals. First, as you know, there are many regional alliances and unions around the world, with perhaps the most advanced being the European Union. Given that reality, some argue that World Federation is actually a two-step process. First, you build working regional federations, and then you bring them all together into a single political system. The immediate question then becomes, how do you bring a region together? Fernando Iglesias will talk about his attempt to do that in Latin America by creating a regional court to fight organized crime, especially drug trafficking and sex trafficking. Through both wars and peace, the democratic nations have worked together to meet numerous challenges. As you may know, next month, President Biden will convene a summit for democracy to both strengthen democracy and further unite the democratic nations. So some have argued that the democratic nations of the world should form the nucleus of a world federation building on their shared interests and values. Chris Hamer is leading an effort to do just that, to build a world security community of democratic nations based on, the current concern, based on their current concerns around security, and he will be speaking on that. Finally, nearly every proposed path to world federation ends with some version of constitutional convention where a global constitution is drafted and ratified by the nations of the world. But rather than that being the last step of a long process, one group, the World Constitution and Parliament Association, made it their first step, creating a comprehensive world constitution. And for decades, they've been working to have the nations of the world adopt it. Glenn Martin will speak to us on that approach right after our upcoming break. Two final comments. First, over the three days, our speakers will not be presenting in the order that I just walked us through. We had to work across different time zones and the speakers' individual schedules, so we scheduled them when they were available. Second, in the mountain image you're looking at, these paths are represented as separate and mutually exclusive which we now believe may not be the case. And we'll talk about that further 
once the five presentations are done. So now I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and I gotta move something out of the way. No, that's not doing it. Um, okay. All right, I have, oh, okay, terrific. That worked. So, um, okay, so Donna will set up the break and, um, and we'll be back at five minutes after the hour. So Donna? Okay, thanks, Bob.